In this video, I'll show you how you can use Canva's version history tool to find and restore old design iterations of a design you might be working on. We've all probably experienced the situation when you're working on a design, maybe you're trying out some new ideas and you don't like the results you're getting and suddenly you're wishing you hadn't made these changes and you want to get back to a prior point. Now usually you can do this in Canva with the undo button here, or you can use Control Z on Windows to step back through keystrokes, Command Z on Mac. However, what if you just saved something and reopened it? What if you can't go back through your keystrokes? What if you're trying to get to something you worked on a month ago and you want to see what that design style was? Well, there is a way to get back to older versions of your design in Canva. That's where the version history tool comes into play, and I'm going to show you how to use it right now. So as a practical example to show you how this works, I, I started working on a logo for this channel, and I did a couple design iterations where I tried one thing, then I scrapped that, and I tried a different version, I scrapped that, and then I've landed on this version. But what if suddenly I want to get back to one of the things I worked on earlier in the day when I was working on this design and going in a different direction? How would I get back and see that? Because at this point, I've opened and closed the file a couple times. I can't use this back button to get back to the, all the versions of my design that I worked on. So how would I do that? Well, that's where version history comes into play. So to access version history, all you have to do is come up here under the file menu, and then you're going to come down until you see this version history. Now, this is a pro feature. Anytime you see this crown symbol in Canva, that means it is something that is a pro feature. So you have to have a pro Canva account to be able to access this feature. But if you do, then you have access to version history. So under the file menu, we can come to this version history, and when you click on it, it's going to show you all the saved and auto-saved prior versions of your design. So I can scroll back through here and I can see uh, the name. If you work in Teams, then it would have the team member that last made the edits and the save. It would have their name here. And then it also has sort of a timestamp date. I did all these today, so it's giving me sort of what time I worked on these. And so if I go back now to earlier in the day, I can see that I had this in initial version here, which is a different layout than what I currently have. And I can step through and look at all the prior versions of this design that I came up with all the way to this, this current version. But let's say I go back to this first, first version here, and let's say I wanna restore this. Well, I can go ahead and click this, restore this version, and it's gonna overwrite my existing design uh, with this version here. Now I can do this, restore this version, and then I can hit Control Z to undo that to get back to this version. Uh, but again, if I wanna go see all my versions, I can come back under this version history, and I can go to any one of these. Now, again, if you wanna be careful and you don't wanna overwrite your existing design, maybe you wanna just compare the two and have another option, then you can come to any of these, and then you can also go and use this drop down menu and you can choose to make a copy and it's going to spawn a new copy uh, in a new browser window of your design. So this version history is very helpful when maybe you want to step back to a prior version of your design. Maybe you don't remember, you want to check it out. You can use this version uh, history if you're a pro Canva user. Uh, now, a couple things about this. Let me go back to that one here. And if I come under this version, uh, version history window, uh, there are a couple things about this because I want to tell you when you should use this and when you should not use this feature. Uh, you can rely on it for certain things. It's a nice fail safe, but you don't want to use it for everything. Now, these auto saves in here, if you're working in Canva and you make some changes in a small span of time or you make some minor changes, even though Canva is auto saving all the time, it's not necessarily going to write a new version to this version history every time. Just for example, here's the current version here. So let me go ahead and hit close. So we can see this is the current version right here. I'm gonna close out of this. And let's just say I added a new rectangle to my design. I put that right here. And then if you come back onto your version history, so we'll go into version history. And so, okay, here's the current version with that green square. Let me close again real quick. Now I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna update this color. Let's just make the green square yellow. And now I'll come right back under version history. And you'll notice what I do, current version is that yellow square. But if I go back in time, I don't have that version with that green square that we just had. And the only reason I'm showing you this simple example is because I don't want you to think that everything you ever do in Canva is going to get saved here under version history. There's a chance if you do something in a short amount of time, you don't make major changes, it's not going to get written here under version history. That's why this version history is good as a fail safe. It's good when you suddenly realize, oh, I didn't realize I was going to like that older version better. 
I want to get back to it. And then usually you're going to be able to find your way back to it. If it's something that's that recent in history, that's when you can use those keyboard shortcuts. Use your control plus C to go backwards or use that undo button that you're going to see at the top. But if you're creating something and let's say you like you have this version of your design, I don't want you to think you can just scrap it and create a new version and then always have this when uh, to go back to. Most likely it'll be under version history, yes. But a better, ver uh, better thing to do in that instance when you know you want to create different design iterations would be able to create uh, different versions and different pages. So for example, if you like this version and then you're like, okay, I want to try something different. And then you have this version. You're like, oh, I sort of like that, but I want to try something different. Go ahead and create them as different pages when you know you're going to want those different versions. So whenever I'm doing templating, whenever I'm building out similar designs, but ones that are slightly different, I always build out pages like this. However, I do want you to know you do have this version history and when this version history is recommended it's just when you're doing something and just through the creative process sometimes you're trying things sometimes you're scrapping things and then sometimes you realize oh I do want to go back to something I did before that I threw away I actually like that better than what I have now I actually think that was a better point that's when you can come go under file go under version history and that's where you can look through these different design iterations you can restore a version or you can restore a copy okay so that's version history in canva make sure you know how it works and make sure you take advantage uh, when you need to find your way back to an old version of a design this is greg thanks for watching if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow this channel if you like this sort of canva tutorial